Hi guys, this is Ashish for Technospot.net and today I'll demo a pre-cache feature which came recently in Google Maps for Android. This feature lets you take some of the maps, some of the parts of the maps offline, uh, which is useful when you are in an area where you have weak network coverage or absolutely no network coverage. So we'll see how you can enable and use it. But before that, what I will suggest is if you really want to know how this feature works, you go and clear off any of your cache which has already in the Google Maps if you have already used. So we'll just go here and select map, we'll go to cache settings and we'll say clear map tile cache. It has already 29 MB of data. So even if I go offline now, I'll be able to see some of the maps. So I'll say clear and it's say okay and absolutely gone and you have prefetch map tiles even when not on Wi-Fi. Now I'll suggest not to use this because this will, if you're on a 3G connection or on a mobile connection, it will take a lot of toll on your bandwidth. So best is turn your Wi-Fi on, do a prefetch and then move on. So that's the best way according to the data charges what we have now. So let's go back and like you can see, I just started prefetching according to my current location. So there you go. Now, what I'll do is I'll go and enable the pre cache feature first. Go to labs, and there you go. The pre cache map area. Now, it says going on a trip when you have when you won't have data coverage. Use the pre cache map area option on the place pages to load up the map area before you go. To find this option, long press on the map around the area you would like to load. Then tap, tap on the bubble or go to more options on search result. We can do that. So let's see how to use this. First, tap to enable it. So pre cache map area is enabled now. Now I'll go back to the maps and let's say we'll go to uh, Jaipur, Rajasthan, uh, which we recently visited. So since I've cleared the map, I absolutely have nothing over there. So I'll just it's searching now. So there you go. It's now loading, loading, loading. It'll load. And that's Jaipur. So let me do a long press and then I'll select this. Okay, that came. Now, if you see, it says pre cache map area. So we'll select this one and it has started downloading and it will download the map area about 10 miles around this location. So make sure wherever you place, if you have 10 places to visit, go to that place, tap on it and start downloading and pre-caching all the stuff. It will take a bit of time and remember it will not take out, yeah, download the satellite and the traffic part. It will only download the tiles. So at least you will be able to see the name of the roads and where you need to go left, right or whatever is possible. So let me download and the next thing I will do is I will turn off. I'll try a different location which is not pre-cached and uh, another thing which I'll do is uh, I'll turn on Wi-Fi and I'll come back here and I'll see what else I can see. So it's downloading, it's 58%, it might take some time, it is used data, so please use it only on Wi-Fi. So let's see, 77%, Pay three. Nine six almost done, and there you go. So you can see now the outlined area of the map. This is what is pre-cached. So you can see ten miles is more than enough. So now this is my area. So now what I'll do is I'll turn off Wi-Fi. So let me go home. Go here. Wi-Fi turned off. Now go to maps again. And there you go. Now I don't have Wi-Fi over here, so it doesn't know where I am. So let's see the orientation first. So now I'll just start reducing it, reducing it. So you can see it's you know it's not cached properly now. You cannot uh, see all the parts. So let's see which part is there. We need to go to. Now, let me search. Let's search for 
this uh, but i doubt this way it will work it should have an option directly which can show me how to look at maps let me see no this will not work so let's go back and uh, let me try and look at okay yeah you can actually see it's already mapped on here so see as i move in now i can see a lot of free cache so since this area is free cache i can actually expand it very nice let's see how far i can go yes you can actually see the road names nice so like you can see it's possible to see all the names pre-cached and what i'll do is i'll go to somewhere or some other place and see if i can actually expand it like this turn the map sit down Um, so no, since my cache was already cleared and I have not pre cached it, so it's not working anymore. So that's how it you can see the pre cache with this square thing. And uh, what you can do is you can bookmark it in your my places also. Um, free cash map area. You cannot load the address dynamically because it's accessing internet. So that's how the pre cache feature works as of now. And there's another feature which I'll just try it off, which lets me find the difference. So, what I'll do is first go to lab feature, enable this measure. Let's see if it works on the pre cache stuff also. So, you what you need to do is uh, Add on screen button to measure distance between location. Tap the button to start and stop measuring. So let's see where is the button. Okay, I see this small button over here. So tap on the measure to distance between location. Tap the measured button to clear. So let me see. So I also tap this and I start. Okay. So it actually works on offline also. Again, I'll tap this. That's pretty cool feature. So I can actually randomly map and come back to the same position again. So that's how it maps the distance. That's really neat. That's it. Turn it off. So that's the distance how it works so these are the two features which uh, you can start using and especially on a trip this is very useful there are other lab features which i'll recommend uh, to use this, especially this bigger text let's see how it works yeah see the text has gone bigger so if you have a, a device which has smaller screen this is very useful so that's all folks there's a pre-cache feature on google maps recently which came on android devices I hope you like it and start using it. Thanks for watching.